This conference will now be recorded. Um, good evening to everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss a topic on uh, audio video controls and CSS, introduction to CSS under uh, web technologies subject in unit 1. Okay, presented by uh, Mr. Bala Murugan, Department of CSE, Akshaya College of Engineering and Technology. So, first, uh, when coming to HTML5, okay, coming to HTML5, this HTML5 uh, differs from HTML4, okay, uh, it differs from previous version. Thus, HTML4 does not support audio and video control, whereas HTML5 you can include audio and video uh, in your HTML document. Okay, so first of all, it supports audio tag. Okay, audio tag is mainly used to create some sound effects uh, in your uh, web page. Okay, so there are three types of audio formats are supported. One is MP3, and another one is WAV, and next one is OGG. These three formats are supported by this HTML audio tag. Let us show the coding. So this is the code for uh, audio tag html audio tag so you should create a tag called audio controls okay you should create a tag called audio controls first you have to write the tag called audio then you have to close the audio tag okay so uh, and then controls controls means some uh, uh, what to say some what type of uh, uh, what type of uh, audio then where is that audio that you you need to specify specify okay the source Source means where your audio is located, the exact location of your audio. My audio is located at 1.mp3. Uh, its file format is MPEG. Okay, so that I'm mentioning audio slash MPEG. Okay, so the, this is how uh, uh, my page is loaded. When I click this play button, my audio will be played. Okay. Next one is similarly, uh, video tag also supported in HTML5. So uh, you have to include video tag. Okay, you have to include video tag to display video content in your HTML document. Here also you need to mention the source tag where your video is present. Okay, that you need to mention here. While coming here, you need to open a video tag and then you need to close the video tag. Okay, you need to specify the size, size of the video. Okay, the size of the video. You need to specify the size of the video, which means in the form of width and height. Okay, then the source where your video is present, what type of video, either it is MP3 or MP4 that you need to uh, specify. The video is stored in the form of MP4 and the video name is movie.mp4. Okay, so when I when I click this, this, this is how the video is loaded in the web page. When I click this play button, video will be playing. Okay, then coming to CSS. Okay, CSS stands for cascading style sheet. Why it is used? It is used to add some style to your HTML page. Okay, it, it increases the look and feel of your HTML page. There are three types of CSS, inline CSS, internal CSS and external CSS. Okay, first one is we are going to see about inline CSS. Inline CSS means what you are going to do uh, directly, uh, you are going to define the style near the HTML tag. Okay, see this is the HTML tag means near the html tag you are writing a style attribute style equal to you are mentioning uh, color is the property this is property uh, this is the value okay you are mentioning the property and value which means that for this particular uh, text a blue heading text you are applying blue color okay for this particular text a red paragraph you are applying red color for this text you are applying blue color for this text you are applying red color let me show this example let me show this example to you. I am loading the page of W3C. See here, this particular text, a blue heading is displayed in blue color. This particular text, a red paragraph is displayed in red color. So CSS is mainly used to apply some styles to your HTML page. Second one is, you are going to see about internal CSS. As you see in the example, okay, the internal CSS mainly, I will zoom this. The internal CSS is mainly written in head section of your HTML document. It is written inside the head section of your HTML document. And then you have to add a tag called style. 
okay you have to open the style tag and then you have to close the style tag then you can define the styles okay Pro, uh, selector body is the tag for the body tag you are going to apply the color powder blue this is applied here for your writing h1 tag for h1 tag you are going to apply blue color for paragraph tag you are going to apply red color so this is applied okay then third one is external style sheet external style sheet means that you you should you have to create two files one is html file and another one is as i shown here css file okay you need to link the css file in the in the html file see here this is the link to uh, link both html and see this is the link href is in, in inside the href you will give the link for css file so that your css file will get uh, uh, get included in the html doc so these are the different ways to add styles in your HTML document. Uh, so thanks for the session. Uh, thanks for watching.